Well, Blink kicks off tonight, and some local college kids are excited to show off all of their hard work. Jason Maxwell takes a look at a display made by some Miami University students in today's Through the Lens. So you're in the Immersive Reactive Lab and XR stage at Miami University. Today we're here to talk about Blink Cincinnati and the cool projection mapping that we did for it as a class here. It's probably been one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of. We had six weeks to do it, which is a lot less time than a lot of other people participating in Blink got to do. Most of them got to do the entire summer. It was 20 people in the class that got to work on it. We all like divided the work. We did the concepting, the storyboarding, timelines, music, everything that we did in six weeks. I think it was a great way for me to incorporate my skills into the project, just editing and audio. The theme for Blink is the city of the future. Because of that, we were trying to take like what the city of the future meant to us as a class. It led to a lot of nights where I leave this space at <laughs> 2 in the morning, which is a lot. But it's been kind of worth it just because I've been able to make a lot of cool products out of it. I can okay. actually go to Blink and be like, I made that. I'll say it had its challenges, but the... After we got through all those challenges, it's really nice to have a nice piece of art that we all made. All my friends here in Cincinnati know about. Uh, I can tell them, hey, I'm working on Blink. Oh my god, you're working on Blink? I know what that is. And it's, it's, it's just really exciting. Everyone did their own concept, and then we presented them to each other and fused a lot of them into one basic narrative storyline, which ended up being our production, which we called Giant Step. And Giant Step is basically about a traveling through time of how nature and technology have slowly changed, converged, diverged throughout time until we get to what we think the future is, is where they live harmoniously together. It, it really is uh, amazing to yeah. see uh, how the, they, I mean, it looks like the building's transforming. Right, right, like, yeah, right. Before your eyes. And I believe Miami University is on the side of the YMCA building. So, oh, nice. So if you're going and you see the YMCA building, which is right next to the um, School for Creative and Performing Arts, kind of um, above Central. And, and if you have a little extra time going. this weekend, I mean, don't try to go and do everything. Go down for two hours, yep. walk around, come down the next day. We're doing that. So I'm going to go down Friday and kind of check it out. And then Saturday, the whole family's going to go to dinner. Well, and do I know family night out? Yeah, and we're making the girls. They had no choice. Well, they'll, they'll like it. Yeah, I think we, have, we like actually it. have plan. We already had plans to do other stuff downtown, but we're going to be downtown to come. Yeah, get through. it's going to be fun. I mean, the two same. million people. So, um, be patient. Yes, yes. Right, Parker. You don't need to park right down in the center of it. Right.